simple run through of what this is. So we've got an instance of Koala and each row, let's put it like this so you can see eight pads across the top and each eight block of eight is a different sound. And each one of those blocks is controlled by a pad, which round robins between the eight. So this is the first one, which is the atmospheric sounds. You can see that one goes through there, bass. And we've got hi-hats, kick drums. snares, and cushion, and the last two are like weird glitchy noises. So that's that, they round robin through there. You can see they're all set to round robin forward and they're all set to do eight steps. So I'll put them all back, reset to one. And then controlling that is polybeat. And that does exactly the same thing. So each sequence of this, channel one, which is pad one on that, is controlled by number one here. So again, that's atmospherics. Number two is bass. Three is hi hats. Four kicks. Um, five is snares. Six percussion. Seven and eight, the weird glitchy sounds. And you can see at the bottom, I've got a certain amount of probability. The glitchy sounds are both 40%. Um, and there's three hits. So this one is the percussion sounds and that's a hundred percent. So that all sort of is eight bars worth of rotating percussive sounds. Same with the atmospheric things. Um, the bass always hits on the one and then there's a 60% of the second note, 40 and 60 for the third and fourth. Hi hat. 100% to hit on the one and the, the three effectively because um, it's only four hits long and then in between 40% uh, and the kick always hits on the one and then 40% of the other hits across a two bar period. So you can see one is a full bar, two, four and five are two bar phrases, three is half a bar and then six, seven, eight are full bars as well. Hopefully that makes sense. The other thing as well, I've got every time that the kick actually triggers, it sends a hit to side kick as well. So I've got the MIDI control of that triggering a side kick underneath. Uh, so the kick drum sits underneath the normal kick. It's bossed a bit weirdly. Um, effectively, B is the master bus. D goes to a drum bus first and ends up at the master bus and A goes through a glitch bus. You can see these are panned hard left, hard right. Uh, and then they go and sum through this, which I'll turn back on now, which there's some weird little filtering. Then everything goes through Pro L on the master bus. The idea being that effectively, as a result of all the round robins and the probability, it creates a sequence that is relatively consistent, but to an extent unpredictable or varied. So, in theory, see what you think. So I reduce it down to the drum bus. <laughs> that weird filtery noise that we've got there. So this is the drum bus itself. So you can see we're only dealing with track number three, track number four, track number five. So if you remember, three is hi-hats, four is kicks, five is snares.
So there's quite a bit of variety there. And then obviously the percussion is consistent. Uh, muted again for a minute. I'll leave that muted for a minute. Uh, and I'll unmute the glitch noises. And we'll just add those in. So that gives us something a little bit interesting in the atmospherics. We know that that's going to hit literally every bar, um, but that obviously there's eight versions of that, so it'll take us eight bars to get that into the beginning. So adding that in. Same goes for the percussion. So bringing that in, eight bars worth of that. And the last thing to add is the bass. So bring that in. So obviously once you've got that, that gives you kind of effectively kind of a one bar, kind of a two bar sequence, um, which is to an extent non-repeating. And then you can map these out to controllers um, and have various effects on, you can have delays and so forth. You can have an annoying filter if you like. And then you can effectively play it very much like a dub rig um, and then Obviously, you could do loads more than that. You could have multiple instances uh, of next. Each one could be 64 banks, could be on random. You could have, literally for each channel, there could be eight. There could be a, a different instance of Koala. So each of the eight channels could be 64 things. And obviously, it's not as varied as it could be. I've not got any sort of uh, high or mid ranges. It's very much just drums and bass. because. Uh, that's kind of what I do. Anyway, I hope that's kind of some degree of interesting. That's how I spent my Sunday.